Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the table is called Venture Capital. It is for two to six players, takes about 20 to maybe 30 minutes to play the game, and it is a trick style game in which you're going to be placing cards from your hand and trying to score points. And you're going to be getting points from cards as well as you're going to get different types of categories such as apps, gadgets, and I believe services as well. At the end of the game, based on how many of these you've got, you're going to score up points where it's going to be... Uh, the number of total points plus each gadget squared is going to give you a total and whoever has the most wins. And what's interesting too is that you're going to get a hand of cards but you get to see all of them from 1 to 15 and playing them down at the same time simultaneously throughout the game. Of course the interesting thing about this trick taking game is that if you play the same type of number down then that is going to cancel out. So if it's two 15s and a 1 those 15s will cancel and the 1 will win. And if you play two 15s, a 13 and an 8 the two 15s will cancel out, the 13 will win and the 8 will uh, be too low. So let's go ahead and show you what the game looks like and how it functions for the game Venture Capital. So here's the game Venture Capital and the components. This is a five player game, but it comes with six different stacks of cards and they're all the same. They're all gonna be one through 15. These three have been randomized. However, these two have not been. These are gonna be the players and we'll use these as bots basically throughout the game. You're also gonna get a stack of cards that are gonna represent the gadgets and apps and of course services. And these are gonna score you points. For instance, this is gonna be worth five points and it's an app. This is worth seven. This is three in a gadget. This is three. This is gonna be no points, but a gadget and app and so on and so forth and it's a trick taking game so you're going to take these cards you're going to go ahead and shuffle them up you don't have to shuffle your hand though but if you want you can play with uh, two players or you can play with more players by adding bots into the game which I'm just going to show you here anyway uh, to start off the game you simply take one of these cards flip it face up and then you guys are going to decide from your hands without showing anybody else what card you want to put down to gain this app uh, app and gadget so maybe I'll put down a seven here right then the next player is going or every player is going to do this simultaneously maybe he wants it more than this player so he's going to probably say oh I want 10 and he's going to play that down and you're doing this all at the same time of course but I don't have multiple hands so I can't do that this player would also do so but because it's at the bottom I'm just going to flip over a card flip over a card and flip over a card this is the 11 it beats out all these ones so this person who played this is going to win which I believe was this guy here he's going to score this these are going to be removed from the game and the next is going to pop out now we have another gadget here worth five and uh, so the players are going to try and bid on that now this one's actually pretty nice because it's got some points on it but it doesn't have two Two of the different types of services here so he maybe maybe he wants it for 12 we'll put that face down i guess the signifying will flip them over simultaneously this guy maybe this um i guess it's better to do it in order too makes it makes it easier to see which uh, what the difference is this one and then we'll do this one and then we'll do this one and then we're going to flip them all over okay so it's interesting enough we've got three of these guys here that are all 12s and um because of that we also have two sevens, so they all cancel out and nobody gets this card. Interesting, that's cool how <laughs> that happened. And that can't happen, you gotta be careful with that. And so the next card is gonna come out, and once again you're gonna say, okay, there's a five and it's got a service on it, maybe he wants it for 10, and uh, he wants it for, let's say, oh, I don't know, we'll go with something higher, let's say 13. And then of course, these guys here. All right, and one more. And then we're going to flip over, of course, and see what happens. And all right, so we got two 13s, so these guys cancel out. And then we have a 10, a 5, and a 2. So the 10 would take it, and it would go to this guy. And the game's going to continue like that, continuing uh, by playing these guys out. These are going to be placed out until all the cards have been utilized. Once all of these cards have been used, then you're just going to have score piles, right? So each player is going to have their own score. I'm just going to go ahead and divvy them out to show you how scoring works in the game. And ready, maybe this guy and this guy. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at how scoring kind of works. Um, there should be five of them, right? So we'll do this. There we go. This guy didn't get very lucky. Okay, so now we're going to add up the points. So first of all, this guy here has five, one, three, and one. That's going to be ten points. He's also got an app, a service, and a gadget. And you're going to square them. You're going to add them all together and then square them. So this is a one, this is a one, this is a one squared. It's going to be one, one, one. So three points, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points for this guy right here. This guy here has two apps, which is going to be squared uh, for four. This is two for four as well. So that's eight, nine points, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen points. So he's winning right now. This guy has seven uh, with four, eleven, 
12 and 13. And then of course this guy has six, seven, and eight. And this guy has five. So this guy would be the winner of the game, Venture Capital. And that's basically how you play it. All right, so a couple of caveats in the game. The first thing is that you're generally not gonna be playing with bots. That's something we kind of added to it just so you can see multiple players. However, it is fun to add them, especially if you only have two, maybe three players in a game. You can go ahead and add a bot just to mix things up a bit. Otherwise though, you're just gonna simply have your hand of cards and you're gonna be playing them down along with everybody else at the same time, scoring. Scoring is a fairly simple Remember, you have to square your apps, your gadgets, and your services by adding them up and then square them. That's going to be your total amount of points. So if you get a lot of apps, so if you get four apps and then you square that, that's going to be 12 points. That's a lot. Um, and every everybody has the exact equal amount of cards. So this game is a total game of skill and not luck. You can add the luck factor by throwing in bots if you want, though. Not only that, though, but uh, the game is a trick-taking game that has a kind of style to a Tournament of Camelot. And I really do enjoy that game. I like the aspect of having cards that are equal in number match and the ability to play whatever cards I want so I always feel like I'm in control of what is happening on the board below. That's really great. So if you like games like Tournament of Camelot, this is going to be a really fun one for you, especially because it's smaller, it's simpler, and it's kind of just put in. You can just go ahead and put in and uh, just play a game. You'll be done really, really quickly. And as you can see, you, once you go through this entire deck of cards, you'll be, you'll be done. I went through four or five of them already. Um, so you can see how long the game would take. Not very long at all. Uh, the artwork is probably more of a negative for me. It's it's just okay. It's kind of just... I, it'd be up to you as to what you think, but for me it's eh, it's alright. And then um, of course the money. is It's just like basically, basically currency with a little eyeball and the uh, pyramid scheme. The theme of the game works out. You're, obtaining, you're trying to obtain capital. You're trying to gain services, uh, gadgets, and uh, apps, and that works well. So basically, the the theme is pretty solid. The gameplay is really fun. We had a lot of fun playing this game and uh, enjoying it. We played it multiple, multiple times over the course of uh, the day. And uh, we also got to enjoy the fact of the bots, which I think was a nice little addition to the game. Uh, the artwork is on the lackluster. And if you want a game that's more intense, more thematic, you're probably going to go with Tournament of Camelot because it has more going for it. But if you want something simple, something easy and breezy to drop out and play in a trick-taking game that you enjoy, this is definitely one you should check out. Venture Capital on Kickstarter. Go ahead and check the link in the description below.